Hi, I'm Lisa Martin with theCUBE on the ground at Google for the sixth annual CloudNow Top Women in Cloud Awards event. And we're very excited to be joined by our next guest, Jennifer Clover, the executive producer of the Chasing Grace Project. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. This project is so interesting. I, I was telling you before we went uh, on that I watched the trailer for it. And um, tell us a little bit about the Chasing Grace Project. Sure. What your plans are for this um, docuseries being, being released and really the, the inspiration behind it. Sure, sure. So it's a documentary series of six episodes about women in tech. It really talks about the culture of tech, the adversities that women face, uh, doesn't shy away from those, but moves pretty quickly to inspirational stories of women who have navigated a successful path in tech so that other women can learn from those experiences and join us in tech. Um, and for those women thinking about leaving, maybe inspire them to stay and give them the tools they need to navigate their own paths forward. I love that. I was very impressed with some of the women that are mm -hmm. featured, even in the trailer, of, of how honest they were being. Yeah. Did you find that they felt either intimidated to share mm. or maybe liberated to say, this is what's going on, there needs to be voices and faces to it? Yeah, I think they're, I think women are feeling empowered right now to talk and when they share their stories, they're even more empowered by the community of men and women that, that come around them and give them support. Uh, so the women that are on camera volunteered to be so. I put out a call for stories in a number of places. I, res I was inundated with responses. I spent four months at the beginning of the year interviewing over 100 women and trying to understand what the collective experience is for women in tech. Um, and so these women are uh, not intimidated. They're, they're powerful, amazing women who I am in awe of, the, of their courage. What were some of the common, maybe the, the top two or three kind of common uh, challenges that you heard over and over mm -hmm. again that women in tech, regardless of if they're in marketing like, mm -hmm. like you and I are, or in engineering, that they're facing? Access to opportunity. Um, they seem to feel like they hit a wall. You know, there's the talk about the ceiling, but a lot of them talk about they, they hit a wall that others don't see, but all of a sudden they can't go any further. Um, a lot of microaggressions that we've all heard and read about, dismissiveness, um, being overlooked uh, in meetings and for promotions. Uh, our first episode is on the pay gap. We've heard stories about women who have found out their male counterparts are making more than them and the differences and when they confront their bosses and when they don't. Uh, so a lot of different examples. We have some very um, explicit stories about online harassment. Um, there was some of that in the trailer. Uh, one of the women, uh, Cassidy, shares a really um, amazing story about that. So they vary, um, but certainly it's happening, right? And we don't want to shy away from that because I think once you acknowledge what's happening and tell those stories, you can start to chart the course forward. I agree, I think that awareness is incredibly important. You are also in technology. Tell me a little bit about your career path in technology. Did you always aspire? to be in tech? Were you interested in engineering and software or was this sort of a zigzaggy path to where you are now? It wasn't a zigzaggy path. I went to journalism school and studied communications and my first job out of college was during the doc bubble, if you will, and so um, I went into tech. It was a lucrative you know, career path, and I fell in love with it. At first, it was very intimidating, because uh, I didn't speak the language, but I learned the language, and I learned to work with entrepreneurs. I've worked with a lot of startups, um, and translating really amazing vision into stories that anyone can understand, and uh, so that's been my pathway through tech, and I'm, I'm grateful to be here, and like I said, I think one of the one of the, the mission of the Chasing Grace project is to recruit and retain female talent because we as an industry needs you know a diverse workforce, but also women need opportunities to these types of careers. They're the most lucrative careers in the world, um, and so that economic opportunity for women as individuals and the need that we have in the industry just put underscores the need for these types of stories to be told. Definitely. So we're at the Cloud Now sixth annual Top Women in Cloud Awards event. How did you come to be involved with Cloud Now and what are some, what are some of your perspectives of now being involved with it? Yeah. So I met Jocelyn, the founder of Cloud Now, just a few months ago. We were introduced through mutual colleagues and she watched the trailer of the Chasing Grace project and said you have to come to the event. I want to share your project with our community, which was so amazing to hear. Um, and and so I'm super grateful to be here and to be sharing the trailer a little bit later at the event, uh, as well as exhibiting for the first time our photo exhibit uh, called Persistence that 
accompanies the documentary. So we will host a photo exhibit at every screening of each episode. And that will grow over time as more and more women are photographed for the project. But the very first showing is here at the event. And so we were really excited to be able to do very that. Very exciting. Yeah. So you said it's a six part series. Correct. When can people expect to start seeing episodes? So the first episode is, is expected around the end of February. 2018? Uh, 2018, exactly. We're in post-production now on episode one. We shot it a couple weeks ago. Uh, and we're already planning episode two and when our shoot will be in early, probably the first two, three months of the year. So um, we expect to release episodes every eight to 12 weeks so that people can stay connected and, and we can bridge episode to episode. For example, the first episode's on the pay gap. Um, the second episode, we think, may be on female founders. And there's a bridge between women who feel like they aren't being paid fairly to wanting to become uh, the owners of their own company so they can determine their own worth. So, so we want to make sure there's... Um, continuity in the episodes. So as you've gone through and, and you said interviewed 100 yeah, plus yeah. women in the last year, what are some of the things that inspire you mm. with the Chasing Grace project that mm -hmm. you feel like we're going to make a difference here? Yeah, I'm inspired by the courage of these women. You know, um, there's so much more awareness about women in tech now among both men and women, but a lot of times when women speak up, uh, they become that woman in the office. You know, that woman who, you know, is talking and, and causing trouble and complaining. Um, and that's not the case. These women are sharing stories that are important for all of us to understand. Absolutely. To build a better future through technology. Um, so I'm inspired by their courage because it's no small thing to go on camera and talk about your personal story in hopes that it can help other women and help men also be a part of that conversation. So. Definitely. I'm inspired by the courage of the women, and that's, you know, I get notes now, you know, back from women who are part of the project when they see something go live, the trailer, the photo exhibit today, that are just like, I'm so excited to be a part of this, and I feel empowered, and I found my voice. I didn't even know I had a story most of the time, they tell me, and they do. So I'm, I'm inspired by that. I love that. And it's so great that, that they're not intimidated, that, that they are feeling empowered, right. that they have a voice. Mm -hmm. They matter. Mm -hmm. And what they're doing should be valued. There should be no differences. Wouldn't right. it be great if we actually get to a world where there are no differences? Right. We're headed there. <laughs> I well, think we're headed there. thanks to people like you for, for bringing more attention and eyes to it. Thank you. We will get there. Thank you. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining My us. My pleasure. Where can people find, once the episodes go live, where can they find the Chasing Grace episodes? They can find them at ChasingGraceFilm.com. We will have a, an exclusive media partnership where they will also be distributed online, but they can always find them on our website. Excellent. Well, yeah. I'm looking forward to watching it. I thank you for sharing your story and for inspiring, I will say, inspiring me and probably many of our viewers. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me. I'm Lisa Martin on the ground with theCUBE at Google for the Cloud Now Top Women in Cloud Award event. Stick around, we'll be right back. Thank you.